Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your July 2017 Astro Update. It's Raina here. So, oh my goodness, you have your solar return. Happy birthday to those of you born in July. And also for those listening in June, happy birthday to you too. So you should be feeling pretty good right now. And on the fourth of the month, you have Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, who has recently been in your 11th house of hopes and wishes and friendships, go into the 12th house. While Venus was in the 11th house, you may have met somebody through your circle of friends. I'm talking about a romantic partner. It's also possible that you have gained, and this could be monetarily, through your friendships, through your group associations. Venus can bring money to whatever sector that she travels through. So that may have been something that happened during that transit. And now it's in your 12th house. This is the house ruled by Pisces and its ruler Neptune. So all the things that we associate with Pisces, the mysticism, you know, the past life connection, the sense of, well, I was going to say the sense of suffering, but that sounds so negative. I mean that compassion for humanity, which sometimes feels like suffering because when people have an open heart and they're empaths and they feel the feelings of other people, it runs the gamut, doesn't it? And so Venus in the 12th house can actually produce very inspired artwork if you happen to be so inclined. And it can also introduce you or connect you with somebody who is a karmic connection, who does have that past life connection to you. And because of this, you may feel a sense of deja vu. You may it could be like you met this person through friends and now um, you are understanding that you are soulmates or twin flames. I hope this isn't happening to too many of you, but this could also be where you are having an affair and having to sneak around because the 12th house can be the house of secrets. The other thing is that there's going to be another uh, transit of Venus. And this is happening on the last day of the month when Venus goes into your sign. So that's very nice because that means that you will get that extra oomph where you will seem very attractive to other people, you know, possibly irresistible. It could just give you a very positive image. Uh, you may, you might make a great impression on other people and how you can use this to your advantage is if you're looking for work, it can be good. You can impress people and make them want to hire you. If you are looking for love, same thing. You come across as very attractive and not just physically, but in other ways. So Mercury is going into Leo on the fifth of the month. And this means that it's going to go from your first house of the self to the second house of earned income. While it was in the first house, you may have kind of been thinking about ways to improve your image. And this may be in conjunction with something to do with uh, work. And sure enough, it goes into your second house and your mind is on your money. And... Um, then on the 25th, it goes into your third house in the sign of Virgo, which blows my mind because, you know, Virgo is a little bit in the future and, and Mercury is usually so close to home, but it does, it is, um, leading the pack here. And, um, it is going to be in the third house of communication. Now, what's interesting about this is that Mercury is the ruler of both Gemini and Virgo. So Mercury is, its, is in its own sign in Virgo, and it's in its own house in the third house, even though it's with um, the, in the universal chart that would be um, Gemini, not Virgo. 
The point being that Mercury is comfortable in this house because it rules this house. What this can mean for you may be something internet based. Perhaps while you were ruminating income streams, you thought about something online. And that may be the time when you put things into practice at the end of July, because you realize, okay, this is what I need to do. And it would be something involving communication, whether it's writing a blog, being a vlogger, or you, you know, other type of YouTuber, whatever is maybe even starting a novel. It, you know, it's funny because, uh, cancers would be naturals for this because you're a water sign. You retain memory so much that you would be perfect. You know, you retain conversations. A lot of times writers will use snippets of conversation in their writing. Um, even, you know, fiction writing. It, well, see, I'm a writer, so I, I, uh, that's why this is uh, near and dear to my heart. But just, I, I wish I had that kind of photographic memory that probably a lot of you have, because I know that um, a lot of cancers can, you know, really recall things vividly. And that's great for writing. So Mars goes into Leo on the 20th of the month. And again, we're talking about the first house to the second house. So we're seeing that the first two houses are really emphasized for you during the month of July cancer, the house of the self and this could even include the body. So perhaps for the first few weeks of July, you feel this inexplicable urge to be very um, active physically. I'm kind of like teasing you. I wonder how many of you generally enjoy exercise. Although I think Richard Simmons is a, is a cancer and he certainly has been known to um, be very... Um, energetic and um, athletic in his own way. Uh, <laughs> so when Mars goes into your second house, baby, you're going to be like chomping at the bit to like rake in the dough, whatever it takes. You're, you've already been thinking about it. You've already been, uh, you know, like ruminating and now it's time to act and you're going to do that. And you're going to have the energy to do it. That's what Mars is all about. It gives you the burning ambition as well as the actual physical stamina to accomplish your goals. So the sun goes into your second house on July 22nd. Um, you know, I'm continuing to talk about these themes of second house, second house. It's just like all about the money that you make. Very good. Very good time for you. When it comes to that, the sun is the life force, right? So everything under the sun <laughs> um, can be the influence of the sun in the second house. The Just the, the creative urge, the creative urge to earn money. So more ideas coming to you, more sense of joy about what it means to to earn money for yourself. You know, we demonize money, don't we? Especially those of us who consider ourselves spiritual and we act like it's some kind of a terrible thing. Money is energy. That's why it's called currency. So there's nothing to, there's nothing to feel ashamed about if you're very driven to earn money, as long as you're living in integrity, as long as you're not stepping over other people to um, to get it and you don't have unbridled greed. There's nothing wrong with it because we need it, first of all, to live. That's just how life is set up right now. And it's also a way to feel that cause and effect. When you do something to get a reward feels good. And um, so it's kind of, um, it's kind of like a double-edged sword for sure. But if the, the more we can embrace it, the more we can attract it, I believe. And um, so let me talk about the full moon and the new moon. A full moon in Capricorn, your opposite sign, on the ninth of the month. Seventh house, baby. 
So what does this mean for you, uh, Cancer? Um, do you have a committed partner right now? If so, this affects you. Okay, this is the time when I say these are general in nature and your rising sign in Cancer and or your sun in Cancer degree matters, okay? It really does matter in terms of the timing of this, but we're going to suspend that uh, and just talk about it in generalities. If you have a partner, there's a possibility that you will find out something. You know, sometimes secrets get exposed, um, something that they're keeping from you, or just a realization that you have. Remember that full moons are oppositions with the sun. So the sun is in your sign, the opposite sign is the moon sign. And so we're talking about a, a first and seventh house opposition. And it's like the self versus the other. And the other being part of a couple. And how do, how do I fit into this? I'm a couple. Does that mean that I lose myself? Cancer can tend to cater to their loved one to the point where they feel, sometimes they feel sorry for themselves or like martyrs because they feel like they're doing so much for others and not getting that payoff. You know, maybe the person doesn't appreciate it. I'm being taken advantage of. Um, <laughs> but um, the other thing too is some of you may say, I've had enough and say, see you later. Some of you may simply feel a deeper bond. It, you know, it could be if you're like in a committed relationship, but you haven't like gone to the next level of getting married, or I, I would say getting engaged or moving in together that you will decide to, to make that ultimate commitment. And then we have a new moon on the 23rd of July, the first of two new moons in Leo. And this is at zero degrees of Leo, so it's on the cusp with Capric uh, Capricorn, Cancer. So for sure, you are kind of engaged in that by that nature alone. So this is your second house of earned income yet again. I mean, it's a new beginning in this area. You've been thinking about it. You've been kind of like starting to take action with Mars there. And then it's like the cleanup crew, the new beginning. So that tells me that you are really upping your game when it comes to the money that you earn in July, Cancer. I hope you enjoy this. It's, it seems really good, and it's, it's very clear-cut on that. Sometimes certain months, there's a lot of concentration of energy in one department, and so it's easier to kind of characterize the energy for that month, and this is one of those types of months. So in any case, if you'd like a, a private reading where I would look at your particular natal chart, and uh, I have a special... Right now on natal chart interpretations, these are one-hour readings. And uh, you can check out rainamoonastrology.com for that. It's also linked below. I wish you all the best in July, Cancer. Happy birthday once again. Take care. Bye.